Hi guys, welcome to my laundry room makeover tour. I'm gonna to be showing you the before and after, plus all of my best organization tips for your laundry room, making the most of a small space. Our laundry room is a total start to finish makeover project, as has been our whole house. Our whole house has been fully renovated. So I'm gonna show you exactly how it was before, the stages along the way, how we have put everything together in order to make it really easy for me to stay on top of laundry for my large family of six, because we have a lot, a lot of laundry to do. If you're new here, I am Re from mummyof4.com. I would love it if you would subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. On my channel, I do loads of renovation content. We have lots of organization tips. I do loads of haul videos. If you like those, I would love it if you would subscribe, as well as chatty vlogs, a lot about homeschool at the moment, because that's what we're up to plus speed cleaning and a load of laundry and much, much more. So I hope you will enjoy it. I would love to have you as part of my community. Now let's flash back to 2019 when we bought our house. This was the day that we had the keys to the house and what we were faced with. So this room was originally the kitchen of the house and it all was in a terrible state and it really needed ripping out. It was really quite daunting when we thought, yikes, Every room in the house was like this. Every room in the house needed ripping out. So this back area I planned to have as my laundry area and the room was going to be split into laundry area down one end and then eventually what would become my office down the other end. So flashing forward to January 2020. As you can see by now, the old kitchen had been ripped out. We were left with a concrete floor and the only thing that had been put into this room was the heating. So the radiators were new, everything else was just a mess still. Concrete floor, all the walls were a mess. This radiator had been put at the back. This is now in what is my current airing cupboard. So I will show you exactly how we did that. And the plan was to put sliding doors and all the laundry bits across this back wall, but it really did feel like a very long way to go, a very long way off. And then I was gonna use a calyx, a big unit to divide the room. Flashing forward again to March, 2020, and here is the big calyx room divider. We decided to use this rather than an actual wall because we would have all that extra storage. So this is where I was planning to put my washing machine and dryer. As you can see, it's all painted. The skirtings are all nice now. The floor is in by now. And then we've got this unit. This is the same system that I used to use in my old house, in the old laundry room, where we have a box per person and all the clean, dry laundry goes into there to be sorted. Now I am gonna be doing a full laundry routine update video, so I will explain all of that in there. Now you can see the rail, at least one of them at this stage is installed between the wall above the radiator and the calyx that we're using to sort the clothes into. So this is where we got to before we moved in. As you know, March 2020 was the beginning of that first lockdown, so we didn't know when we were gonna be able to move in. It was all a bit chaotic. Now, before we skip ahead in time again, I just want to show you the other side of this big Calyx storage unit. This is what is now my office. The boiler at this stage hadn't been boxed in. It didn't have furniture or anything, but this was the space ready for us to move into the space I'm sitting in now, actually recording this voiceover, talking to you guys. So I also need to do a nice video where I show you what is in those boxes currently and I need to organize and declutter them. So make sure you're subscribed because I will be bringing that video to you very soon because since we've moved in, all of that needs organizing. We are now up to April and this footage was taken two days after we moved in. So the washing machine and dryer are now in, but everything's still a little bit messy. At this stage, it was far from finished. So it was functional. I was able to use the storage boxes to sort things. I've already got washing hanging up there, drying in the drying area. I will talk more about that in a second and a lot more in depth all about that in my routine video. But this is where we got to as we moved in. Now let's show you where we are today. And here we are, present day. This, as we go in through the door, the right hand area is my office where I am sitting right now on that chair talking to you. And this is the other side of the big Calyx unit. So my office is divided from the laundry room by this room divider, which is just so handy. As you can see, there's a lot of space in there for stuff. Now to the laundry room, we have got 
the sliding doors installed. They were installed in my last home renovation update. So if you didn't catch that, make sure you watch that after this video. Now let's have a look at all the components that make up this laundry room to make all of this work in a small space. So we've got the washing machine and tumble dryer stacked but it's not just stuck on top of each other because that obviously wouldn't be safe. It's stacked using this laundry stacker device thingy. Now the laundry stacker device thingy, that's obviously the official term for it, I will link it below, is so handy. It's got this shelf, which as you will see, if you've seen me do laundry daily on Instagram, is just so handy for popping baskets on to empty the dryer. You can see that it is all safely secured together using this big strap, which all came in the kit and was really easy to put together. The pipe at the back is for venting the dryer and that goes to outside. Now let me show you what I keep on top of the dryer. This is a little basket of two types of things. The first is the pad or the separate spare pad for this Vileda 1-2 spray, which is my mop thingy, which is attached to the wall by this command hook, which is really, really handy. So this Vileda 1-2 spray is just my mop thing that I fill up with a bit of method floor cleaner and I can easily clean the floor. And you can see the pad on the bottom of it, that bit goes in the wash. So I've got one on and one in the wash and the one that is clean, ready to go on goes in this basket. Now these little gray cloths are reusable color catchers. So they last up to 30 washes. And when they go super dark and yucky, then I just use them for mopping up spills, cleaning things. So when they're too dark to be used as a color catcher anymore, they are repurposed for that. So that's what goes in that basket. On to my dryer fluff bin. Now it wasn't till we moved to this house I had a dryer fluff bin. Previously every time I emptied the dryer fluff out of the dryer fluff compartment I used to take it to the main bin and then I realized I'm having moved. Why am I doing that when I could just collect it all in here and then it could be emptied every now and again. Then I also have some hand sanitizer on top of the dryer. That way when I've been handling anything mucky, like yucky cloths and things, I can sanitize my hands. I have this printable Alexa do the laundry sign and I've got lots more printable do the laundry signs which are available for free on my blog. I will link below. Moving across to the left of the laundry room now, we've already been over the hook holding the Vileda 1-2 spray. Next to that, we have my iron. Now, when you watch my laundry routine video, you will see that I do all I can to avoid ironing, but when I have to do ironing, it's there ready for me in this nice iron holder. It's good to know it's not only easy to grab when I need it, but when it is hot and has not yet cooled down, it is safe from the children and secured to the wall with this rubber strap. I will link the iron holder and everything else in this laundry room in my laundry room essentials blog post, which is in the description. Next to that, we have a fold out ironing board. Now this has been a game changer because not only is it far easier to actually get out to use and far easier to store because it's not bulky but it's actually really good to use as like a little sorting table as well I often pop baskets of clean laundry onto it so that I don't have to bend up and down to reach things from the floor and look how easily it folds away so I'm really 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 pleased with that as just a nice little addition a nice little neat fold away addition to my laundry room now I've got a lot of baskets. These are called curver baskets. Yes, I have a lot of them, but when you watch my laundry routine video, you'll see that I use them for sorting laundry around the house, as well as sorting and tidying. This little table, I use as sort of a shelf. It is a kid's table from Ikea, and I just was exactly the right size for the gap. These are the larger curva baskets, which I generally use for putting dirty washing in before it is sorted into loads, but I don't tend to carry those around the house as much because they're a bit bulky, although I will use them if I'm sorting bedding or something that's quite bulky. Onto my folding step. I've got one of these upstairs and one of these downstairs. It's to reach the high up places in my home because I'm only five foot four, so without the step, it's a bit of a struggle sometimes, but it's really handy. It wasn't expensive, it's all linked below, and it fits neatly in this little gap. Isn't that cool? Now, as we move across, you'll see why I sometimes need the step. Behind the sliding doors, shall we take a look what's behind the sliding doors? Let's have a look. So when we slide this door across, we can see the Calyx boxes. I did change the Calyx boxes to these gray ones from when you saw earlier in the video from when we first moved in. So the other side, when you move the door across, is the hanging area. Now this is where we hang 
wet laundry that is not tumble dryable. I'll explain my full system for using that drying area in that laundry routine video. Now for laundry that does come out of the tumble dryer and is ready to be sorted and given to each person, each family member has a box that it gets sorted directly into as it comes out of the dryer. And this avoids having baskets of unsorted washing all over the house. It just gets stored in there when those baskets are full they get given to the relevant person. Now the wet dirty washing gets put in there so it is not put in with the dry dirty washing so if for whatever reason I don't put a load on for a couple of days the wet stuff isn't sort of contaminating the dry stuff which is generally not a soiled so I put the dry stuff in the larger baskets generally waiting to be washed and then the wet stuff goes in there so these baskets I tend to pre-sort into the top ones loads ready to go into the washing machine Again, more about that in my full laundry routine video, which you shall have to check out. Now we're gonna use the step. I said I need the step, didn't I? It's to reach this high cupboard. And in the high cupboard, we've got laundry detergent stuff. It means I don't need a child lock on it because it's nice and high up. I can only just reach it. So I've got my method laundry detergent. This is my favorite detergent. I've not got much left of it, but as you can see, I always buy backup ones and then I replace the backup ones. So at the moment, I've actually got two in backup because I know I'm nearly out of it. So I always have one to use and one as a backup. Then I've got the method pink softener. I like the purple of the laundry detergent and the pink of the softener. I find that that is the nicest combination. And then I've, as you see, I've got one to use, one as a backup. Then I've got a bit of Dettol laundry cleanser. I use this for towels, bedding, cleaning cloths, anything that needs sanitizing. And then anything that is absorbent I, that I do not use fabric softener for because if you use fabric softener, this one, then it stops things like towels and cloths being absorbent. I get a scoop of unstoppables and they go in with the load that generally the stuff that needs sanitizing just to make it smell a little bit better when I can't use the fabric softener. So then there's a box for each family member. I've shown you those. And then all I do uh, when these are full, I mean, they're quite empty at the moment, luckily, but when they get a bit fuller, I just pop all the stuff into one of those little curver baskets that are in that stack. And then from there, they go and get given to the relevant person, put in their room, and then they put their own things away. Let's take a look at my airing cupboard drying area. So all this is, as I mentioned earlier, the two rails, one fixed to the wall and the other fixed to the calyx unit, which you can see on the right of the screen, which is itself fixed to the wall. Now this little radiator that was installed just ensures that this area is kept warm. I often get asked, how well does this work? Do you get damp and mold? And I always say that it worked beautifully in the last house. It works for us here as long as it's not overstuffed and you can take everything out as soon as it's dry in order to make space for new clothing and that the clothing is not touching anything else while it is drying. So I use a few different types of hangers. I use these skirt or trouser hangers to clip things up like leggings and stuff to dry. I use these little pink hangers for the girlies because their clothing is a lot smaller. And then for most of the rest of our clothing, it gets hung on these gray hangers and all of these hangers are nice and slim fitting so they fit nicely into the wardrobes. The only other type of hangers I use are this type and those are just for my vest tops. By hanging things up this way, I find as long as they're drying in shape, they need minimal ironing, but I avoid the need for ironing even further by spraying everything with this Lenore crease releaser spray and it does help for all the creases to fall out as the items are hanging and the majority of things dried this way need no ironing at all. The other spray I keep in here is this Dettol spray to kill germs and bugs. I've been using this since the pandemic for things like coats that aren't necessarily going to be washed, but you want to de-germ. These lovely grey sliding doors, which are linked below, cover up all of that mess. So when I'm sitting at my desk in my office, rather than glancing across and seeing all the hanging up laundry like I used to, I can now see these nice plain grey doors and it looks so much better. Make sure you check out my full laundry routine video to see exactly how I utilise this space to stay really organised on top of the laundry for six people. Thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 7pm. My latest video and another video you may enjoy from my channel are on screen now. Thank you again, guys. Bye.